New York City. Living here can feel like navigating an overwhelming, sometimes confusing, obstacle course. Now, imagine if you're blind. If your memory or your cane falters, you depend on the kindness of others. Frank is an actor, and he's also blind. And for our actor, Tracy, Frank is the perfect prey. Can you uh, tell me uh, what these are? I see one, two, three, four dollars. You have just enough for a coffee. You want me to order you one? That would be great. OK. If you saw someone taking advantage of those who can't see for themselves, what would you do? We're at Astoria Coffee in Queens, New York. Excuse me, can you do me a favor? I just came from lunch, got my money all mixed up. Oh, <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah, if you could just tell me what these bills are here. Okay. That's a dollar. Right. That's another dollar. Okay. Those are definitely not one dollar bills. They're twenties. And it looks like this customer can see what's happening. And then uh, you have just one more dollar. So wait a minute, there, there's no twenties in there? No. Tracy starts to pocket Frank's money. I don't get it. I thought I had a 20. But before she gets the chance, Sabrina steps in. Those are four 20s. Excuse me, what? Those are four $20 bills. Oh, mm -hmm. my god. No, they're four singles. Those, they're, you have four $20 Singles. Bills. I'm confused, though. I can so, understand why you would be confused when someone lies to you. Excuse me. No, these are four uh, singles. What? These are four $20 bills. And I actually do not appreciate you lying to someone. No, the, well, but the, thank you. I don't understand what? why you I just said thank you. Well, thank you. What did you need to order? Uh, a cup of coffee small. OK. Just like that, she verbally dismisses Tracy. And when Tracy tries again. What did you want? A small coffee. No, I'll take care of this. He wants a and small then, coffee. Thank you. And then Sabrina takes a hands-on approach. Why don't you just mind your own business? I'm not engaging in this conversation with you anymore. Thank you. We're not going to let this brew any longer. Were you concerned at all about her lashing out at you? And... No, because I knew I was right. And she was clearly wrong. What is it in you that makes you speak up? Um, I just would hope that someone would do that for me. We roll again. What's that? Is that a one? That's a one. And right away, these two guys are ready to serve Tracy a venti-sized shot of justice. And that's a one. So you have four ones. Right. OK? Yeah, four ones, yeah. Thanks, man. Excuse me? 20 in your hands. You just put some in your pocket. I'll call the cops on it. You got 20 in your hand. Right, so there's 120, like I said. Take the money out of your pocket. I don't have the. Or I'll call the police right now. Take the money out of your pocket. Are you kidding me? Call the police. I'm confused. There's no filter with these guys. They give it to Tracy straight. We got you. It's over. Take it out of your pocket. Give it out. It's over. Boy. Or otherwise, you're going to get arrested. You're trying to rob the guy? Are you crazy? No, I was helping him. I served his money. I'm helping him now. Hi, buddy. How are you? I'm John Quinones, and it's a TV show oh. called What Would You Do? <laughs> You wanted to call the cops right away. Yeah, and I got up to block the door. Why should we step in? You don't know him or her. I'd want someone to do the same for me. It's just what I learned to do. Yeah. What we're supposed to do. Yeah. Excuse me, could you do me a favor? Sure. I, Tracy is at it again. So you have one dollar, right. two dollars, three dollars, and four dollars. How much is like, the coffee? Usually like three dollars. This woman looks concerned. Well, you're lucky you had just enough for a coffee. But she stands there speechless. Will she let Tracy get away with it? I don't understand. I, I thought I had a 20 somewhere. No, I sometimes do that, too. <laughs> Maybe you dropped it. Sorry, I don't want to start anything. What? I see yeah, well, I, that they're 20s. I, 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 what, what are you saying, man? It's OK. It's no, what I'm, you, what I'm you, sorry. I'm sorry, what do you mean? I can't she, she, watch this happen and what? not say anything. Okay, well, this no, those are four twenty. So you take half, take what? half. What? No, no, I'm no, not no, no, there are any of this. I was helping you. She wasn't even helping you. You're saying she cheated me? This is a 20. 
What? And this is a 20. And I, I see two other 20s. Why don't you job. just mind your own business? It has nothing to do with you. So? I don't understand why you had to say anything. Why are you stepping in for him? Because he has every right to be stood up for. But he doesn't know. That's why do other people are around to help him. Okay, break it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is very bizarre. You glad you spoke up? Yeah. If you see something, better to say something. We roll one final time, and Jessica Van Kemp watches closely. These are all ones. Yeah, okay. So, if you, so you have enough. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. And when Tracy pockets Frank's money, Jessica clearly looks troubled. So you had the, the four ones. I'm going to use your ones, cool, okay? Cool. I thought I had a 20 in there, but... Yeah, you didn't have any 20s. She doesn't speak up, but she does keep an eye on the situation. Excuse me. We send Tracy away, and when the coast is clear, Jessica spills the beans to our actor, who's working behind the counter. Did you see that whole transaction? No. What happened? Nothing. That woman took some of the blind man's money. What did you see? He handed her four twenties. He said, are these all ones? And she said, yes, she pocketed the three twenties. OK. That's, I don't know. Now that she's told on Tracy, she's torn about what to do next. Will she confront Tracy, speak to Frank, or simply walk out? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. A customer said that they saw you with the blind gentleman that you stole his money? No, why would I do that? I didn't steal anybody's money. And with that, Jessica shows us exactly what she would do. I saw your pocket 320s, and I didn't see anything beforehand, but my heart felt weird, and I had to say something. Well, my heart feels weird I'm right so now. I'm sorry. No, I didn't, I didn't do it. OK. Tracy can deny all she wants, but Jessica just won't back down. I saw him hand you four 20s. Oh. And then you said these are four ones and you put three 20s in your pocket. I don't know what you thought you saw, but I don't go around stealing from blind people. That's just wrong. I, would, I wouldn't do that. I yeah. must have saw something. Yeah, I think you did. Strange. Yeah. OK, because there, there were three 20s and, and you were right. Hi there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> are you OK? Oh my god, yes. I'm so glad I did the right thing. <laughs> Oh, you seem so torn. Because I was afraid of confrontation. I'm not very good at confrontation. And I would have walked out of here. What kept you? Definitely something in my heart, just my conscience saying that uh, something is wrong here. And I want you to meet Frank. Let me give you a big hug. Oh. Good looking out, baby. But that was cool. Has this happened to you in real life? Well, the thing is, it's not that it's happened to me, but I've been in situations where definitely it could have, but good people like you've been around. Oh. <laughs>